Hi everybody, it's Miss Mary here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make our DIY ombre cork boards. I have an example of the cork boards in front of me here. Now you may be asking, what is ombre? I'm gonna give you the really boring definition first, and then I'm gonna explain it a little easier. So ombre is defined as having tones of color that shade into each other graduating from light to dark. So the simple way to ex example of this is to show you guys. So you see I have my three cork boards here, three cork pieces. So why this is ombre is because I took one color, which is purple, and I have different shades of it here. So you see how it starts with the dark purple, it gets lighter, and lighter. So you can have ombre going this way or from light to dark. But this is what we are going to be creating today. So for this activity, you're going to need the following materials. Some paint brushes to paint with and something to paint on. So either a paper plate or some newspaper or something like that. The three cork circles that we had in our kits as well as the paint that came in our kits, which is gonna be purple and white. So I poured out a little bit of the purple and white from my kit and put it into this little tray to make it a little easier. There are different ways to create the ombre effect. So just to go over those again, the first one we have is the one I was showing everyone earlier, which is three different shades of color, one on each coaster. So if you wanna do your ombre look this way, all you have to do is mix up three different shades of purple. You want one to be really light, one to be kind of in the middle, and then one to be the darkest. And then you would just paint each of your coasters one of those colors. A little tip for everybody just to save some paint and to make it go a little faster when you're making the lighter colors, it is easier to take mostly white paint and put a little bit of purple into it to make it a light color. Trying to put white into purple paint to lighten it takes a lot more paint. And that's usually a waste of materials for that way. To show you our next way to paint the ombre, I'm gonna actually recycle and use these coasters again. I'm gonna flip one of my coasters over to the other side. I'm gonna take one of my paint brushes and I'm gonna get some of my purple and white paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the white paint. I'm gonna put it in the middle. I'm gonna put kind of a couple dabs of it along the top of my coaster, like so. And then I'm going to take another paintbrush. I'm gonna dip it in our purple paint and do the same thing on the bottom. So I'm gonna add some globs of the purple all the way on the bottom. I just wanna make sure in the middle, we have some purple and white in the same line like this. Then it's the fun part. So then you're gonna to get to take your paintbrush and we are gonna start painting away. It'll give us that really solid layer of purple on the bottom. And then as we get to the middle, as you see, it starts kind of going into that light and dark look. Now, obviously I didn't use enough paint in this, so I'm gonna take a little bit more paint and put it in my palette real quick. I have an extra bottle of paint with me. But that's why we wanna be careful about how much we put on at one time. So like before, I'm gonna just take some, spread some white on at the top. I'm gonna go into my purple, Spread some purple along the bottom and middle. So let's see if this worked. So just like before, and you see, that's a lot better. I'm gonna get just a little tiny bit of purple just so that the top doesn't look so white. And now we see 
we've made ombre, but instead of using individual coasters, we have it all on one. So as I said before, we have this way of doing our ombre, which is the gradation all on one coaster like this, where it's blended. Now I'm gonna take another one of my coasters and I'm gonna flip it over onto the backside and show you another way that we can achieve that ombre look. So for this one, we're gonna do some bars of color. So I've got my paint over here. I'm gonna take my purple and I'm gonna make a line where I want my purple color to be. Now you see I had some white left over on that brush. So it's making it, so I'm gonna take a clean brush and we're gonna go over it. You see that, it's darker. But our look this time that we're gonna go for is distinct bars of color. So next, we're gonna make another one to go in here. So I've got some white paint on my palette. And like I said before, you wanna take just a little bit of purple. It's easier to mix colors into white to create a lighter tone than it is to mix white into those other colors. You'd be using a lot of paint, which is not a good idea to just waste materials. All right, so now kind of mixing and trying not to spill all over the table. Let's get a little bit more nice and dark this color. All right, so now I'm going to take this color. We're going to do a band next to it. So I'm going to paint a nice line. There's our second block. And now we are gonna do our lightest color. So I'm actually even just gonna take a little bit of this light color I mixed. We're gonna put it into this white that I've got nearby. I'm actually gonna scoop it into a new, I have a lot of paint in this section. So we have a little bit of that color we mixed into the white here. So this is gonna be a really pale purple. off the brush a little and now we'll paint our last section with our really light purple but as you see as I'm painting this you can see just like our last coaster we still have that ombre effect but instead of it blending together we've made it more distinct with our lines between the different shades so kind of just to show you the example again here's our barred one and here's our blend all right now as we can see we've got two finished examples of our ombre cork boards so you do want to keep them on a plate or newspaper something kind of flat to help them dry evenly but once they are all dry you can use the putty we included in your kit to attach your cork boards to the wall and then you can find fun stuff like photos or notes or things that you can attach to your cork boards can't wait to see what everybody comes up with. Feel free to email or tag us in your Instagram posts with your finished cork boards. See everybody soon.